Located outside St. Petersburg, Peterhof is the name of the great palace that once belonged to the Russian Tsars. Tsar Peter the Great was extremely ambitious and heavily influenced by the West. Thus, he wanted a palace that would be more beautiful than any other, a Versailles of the East. The historic model may be more imposing, but its unusual location on the Gulf of Finland gives this magnificent summer residence of all the Tsars its unique atmosphere. Whether public galleries or private quarters, everywhere there is a superb array of objets d'art and a splendid interior architecture that is adorned with beautiful artwork. The majority of the rooms have retained their magnificent decor of gold, crystal and bronze. When experiencing the wonders of this place, it is difficult to take in the incredible luxury of those bygone times. Since Peter the Great, the Russian Tsars placed art and design face to face in grandiose style. They amassed great estates in Europe and acquired complete collections. Present in all the rooms is the spirit of many great artists and scientists who bequeathed a treasure trove of nostalgia for all eternity. For these great works of art, no expense was spared. Peter I chose this, the location for his future summer residence, and drew sketches of both the park and the palace. But only in 1712, after its victory over Sweden, did Russia gradually emerge as a European power, which was when construction finally began. First, the German master builder Johann Friedrich Braunstein brought the Tsar's sketches to life, followed by the Frenchman Jean-Baptiste Le Bon. Characteristic of the Peterhof is the location of the Great Palace that is built on a 20 metre high embankment. This divides the area into an upper and lower park. Numerous ornate figures decorate the park's many fountains and create a wonderful animated display. The central point of the upper park is a replica of Nuremberg's glorious Neptune fountain, which is both an architectural and horticultural work of art. The 
21 hectare park is a collection of cascades and springs, some of which are constructed in such a way that they surprise visitors by spraying them with water. Completion of the magnificent two-storey Peterhof was finally realised in 1572 with the help of the genial master builder Rastrelli. This was because of the Tsars Elizabeth I and Catherine II who made its completion possible. The glittering arrangement of the lower park leaves no doubt that this residence was considered first and foremost as a glorious symbol of the new sea lords who ruled over Russia. Beaming gold fountain figures decorate the park. A massive marble basin in the middle of which stands the gilded Samson fountain is fed by water from the Great Cascade. This staircase of water, probably the largest fountain location in the world, links the palace terrace with a lower park. The water flows over two wide steps, each of which contains seven levels. Each of the water displays operate without any kind of pump and instead use an artificial system of various basins located at different heights. The small garden castle of Montplaisir radiates tranquility and intimacy. This is what Tsar Peter craved for after having to endure his various taxing social engagements and formal receptions. Tsar Peter gathered together an army of soldiers, serfs and servants to dig the ditches and canals that would serve the gardens and their gigantic water features. This great palace, together with his new city of St. Petersburg, was meant to depict the gateway to the west. Unfortunately, both the palace and the park were badly destroyed during the Second World War. But after 1946, they were completely renovated. Over a 400 metre long canal which led up to the castle and the artistic focal point of the lower park, visitors reached a huge cascade which led to the palace's terrace. The Peterhof is the realization of an architectural concept with a Western European hallmark. Both Russian Baroque and Russian Classicism were united here to create a new art form, an imperial construction.